So now we'll get into an exercise for adding custom styling. At the end of this exercise, we will have learned how to customize and modify variables, how to add the custom theme variables to the theme, how to modify components and global styles, specifically play base partials, as well as adding custom CSS and importing it into the source file. And finally, we'll also learn how to add custom images. Here are the steps that we'll be taking in the exercise here. First, we'll add the SCSS file structure to the theme source. We'll modify clay variables to fit branding. We'll also add color variables for the theme. We'll import the variable partial files and then customize these portlet variables. We'll customize the button component, add custom styling to the footer, import the partials to the custom partial, and then add theme images as well as the Livingston logo. And then finally, we'll deploy the theme to see the styling changes. After this exercise, there's a bonus exercise that I won't go through, but that you can try for yourself. And this would be to add additional SCSS to improve the theme as you see fit. So now we'll learn about modeling the styling of the themes. So we'll add the SCSS file structure to the theme source. We'll start by copying the contents of the CSS folder in the exercise source directory. So in our exercise source, we'll go over to the CSS and then we'll copy all of these contents and then we'll find it in our Livingston Fjord theme, the source folder in the CSS folder. We'll copy this all over here and we'll notice that there's a custom partials already here. Now we'll modify clay variables to fit the branding. So we'll choose clay variables, this style sheet, and then we'll open up Visual Studio Code, and then we'll drop this in right here so that we can edit it. We can actually close the other files over here. So we'll highlight this comment. We'll type in LFR to view the available code snippets, and we'll choose 01 custom clay variables right here. We'll save this file. Now we'll add color variables for the theme. And so we'll find the partials folder within our CSS folder, and then we'll go into variables, then we'll drag in colors into our Visual Code Studio. We'll highlight the color snippet right here, and we'll type in LFR, color snippet, we'll select this one, and we'll save this file. Now we'll import the variable partial files. And so we'll go back over here into partials, and then we'll find variables and drag it into our Visual Studio code. We'll highlight this comment that's selected over here. We'll type LFR, and then we'll choose variables.scss. We'll have to save this file or else the changes won't register when we deploy. Now we can go ahead and customize the portlet variables. So we'll find our file over here again, and then we'll go back up to CSS. We'll navigate into the portlets directory, and then we'll go into variables custom, and then we'll drag this into Visual Studio. We'll replace this by typing LFR, and then we'll find portlet variables custom SCSS. Remember to save this. Now we'll customize the button component. And so we'll come back over here into the CSS folder, go into partials, and then we'll find buttons. We'll drag this over here and we'll highlight the comment and replace it with 05 buttons.css. Make sure to save this file again. And finally, we'll add some custom styling to the footer. So we'll go back to our partials folder. We'll drag in footer. And then from over here, we'll replace this with 06 footer. Remember to save this file. Now we'll go ahead and import partials to custom that has CSS. And so we'll have to go up to the CSS main directory. We'll find custom as CSS. We'll drag this into our Visual Code Studio. And then we'll find the existing imports. Right here, we have two import statements. And then we'll hit enter. And then we'll type in LFR to see what's available. And from over here, we'll actually import the custom imports. And so what we're doing right here is we're importing all of the partials that we were just configuring. And so this will allow us to have the styles that we set in the other files. Now we'll save this file to make sure that the changes are registered. We'll also add some theme images. So we'll go back to our exercise source folder and and we'll go up, we'll find the images directory. Now we'll go also to our source images of our Livingston Fjord theme, and then we'll copy both the screenshot and the thumbnail over into our Fjord theme. And we see that there's already a thumbnail PNG, we'll actually replace the file in our destination. And finally, we'll have to deploy the theme to see the styling changes. And so in the command line or terminal, we'll run the deploy command. So we'll run npm run deploy, and then this will build and then this will deploy into our Liferay instance. We'll come over here to our terminal that's housing our Liferay instance, see that it's deploying. Okay, so right here we see that the Livingston Fjord theme has been started. We come back to our browser, and if we refresh, we'll see that actually the, the styling changed a lot. It was a blue, but now it's a little purplish. So now we'll add the Livingston logo. So we'll find the site admin in the top left, go to site builder and pages. From here, we'll find the gear icon next to the public pages, 
this is configuration. We'll click this and then we'll scroll to the bottom of the page where we can see the logo. You might have to expand this section if it's not currently. We'll click change so that we can upload an image and then we'll click select and then we'll navigate into the exercise folder and we'll find the Livingston logo. We'll open this and we'll click done. From the bottom, we'll save the changes by clicking the save button. And if we go to home, we'll see our logo uploaded right here.